and welcome to an introduction to IBM Lotus Mashups presented by me, Cesar Cantua, IT Specialist for the IBM Developer Skills Team. In this demo, I will introduce you to what a mashup is, why they can be very useful for you and your business, and finally, how to create a mashup. I will take you through a simplified presentation showing you the features and capabilities of a fully functional mashup. So what are mashups? Well, as the name implies, a mashup is an application created by combining information from different sources. This information comes from widgets and feeds that communicate with each other to show you the desired information. A widget is a small portable application or piece of dynamic content. It can display anything you want from weather to stock updates to professional sports scores and so on. A feed is very similar to a widget but not as graphically advanced. It just feeds you information mostly in plain text format from places like blogs. So why do you want a mashup? Well, not only are they extremely easy to use and create, but the information they convey can be very valuable. There are limitless possibilities on the type of information that they can display. For example, you can have a customer list, weather, map, and airport widgets all communicating with each other to keep track of your customers and let them know the best time to travel. Because they are all connected or wired, if you change the information in one widget, all the widgets will update to show the changes. But enough of the explanation. Let's go through an example of how to create a mashup. You will be able to see how easy it is and how the widgets and feeds actually communicate. Once you've logged in, you will see this workspace. This is where your widgets will live and communicate. You have to create a new page to start mashing. To do this, just click on the Create a New Page text box and start typing. We'll call my workspace Cesar's page. Press enter and you'll automatically be put into edit mode where you will see different toolbars that are used to add and edit widgets and even the page itself. If you want to add another page or create a new page, just roll over the page name and you will see the option. You can also roll over the arrow and you will see options for sharing, publishing, editing and deleting pages. This toolbar will be very useful when working with mashups. This is also where your widgets will be saved. You'll see what I mean later on. You can personalize your page any way you want by changing color schemes, adding a background, and so on. Click on the Page Properties box to edit your main page. Here you see the properties and changes you can make. You can change the skin of your widgets and add a picture to your background. Click Save to apply the changes. Now let's add some widgets to our page. Go to the widget catalog by clicking on this icon. Here we are in the mashup hub. As you can see there are many different things you can do here. We will only be using the catalog but you can also create widgets and feeds, upload your own widgets and feeds, and even go through tutorials and examples. Click on list widgets to see the widgets available in the catalog. As you can see there are hundreds of widgets available and more are being added every day. The widgets are listed alphabetically but if there is a specific widget you are looking for, go to the search menu and look for it. If you see a widget that you are interested in, roll over it with your mouse to see a description or click on it to see the full details. I will be using the AccuWeather widget seen here. There are two ways to add a widget to your page. Either click on Add to Lotus Mashups or Add to Favorites. The Add to Favorites selection is much faster and automatically puts the widget in your favorites, but you won't be able to make any changes. Let's click on Add to Lotus Mashups. Here you can change the name and description of the widget. Remember that toolbar I told you about in the beginning of the demo? You can choose to put the widget in a category in this toolbar for easy access. I'll choose to put it in the favorites and leave the icon as is. Click Finish and close the tab. To go back to your page, click on My Links and IBM Mashup Center. Adding widgets is as easy as drag and drop. Click on the Favorites category to drag and drop the AccuWeather widget. I have some saved widgets in the toolbar which I will use for this demo. Let's add the customer list and map widgets. You can resize and move your widgets however you like. 
To wire the widgets, click on the Wire Widgets icon. Wiring is how the widgets communicate. They either send or receive information from one another. Here the map will be receiving information from the customer list. So click on the Receive tab and choose the location string. We'll use the zip code to find the city on the map. Now let's wire the weather the same way. It will also be receiving data from the customer list. Click on the customer list and the zip. You can see the graph of the widgets and how they are communicating. Now let's test our widgets. I'll try clicking on AIG. So here's the location and the weather. Now we can click on view mode to see the page itself. I'll click on Cisco. It works. You can save your work by going to edit mode and clicking on the save icon. But the Mashup Center also automatically saves your work once you click on Go to View. As you can see, it is easy to create and use the Mashup Center to create mashups. You can make it as simple or complex as you like, and you can display any information that you need. Thanks for watching, and click on the following links for more information on Lotus Mashups.